Usaré esto como ejemplo. Join us on a rigorous step-by-step -step journey to fluency. I'm Timothy, and this is LearnCraft Spanish. Today we're going to learn the Spanish verbs that mean to use and to acquire. Let's start with the word for acquire, which is conseguir. This is spelled just like the words con and seguir put together. C-O-N-S-E-G-U-I-R. Conseguir. So, for example, I'm going to acquire a new suit. Voy a conseguir un traje nuevo. In modern English, it feels a bit formal to use the word acquire. We're more likely to use the word get. So this sentence would be, I'm going to get a new suit. But there's a big challenge with translating the word get from English into Spanish. In English, we use the word get to mean all kinds of things. For example, when we say get out, we're not asking someone to acquire something. We're asking them to leave or to exit. And actually, this happens almost every time we use the word get in English. Usually, it's part of a phrase where it actually means something else. So just for fun, I'm going to present a few phrases that use get. And I want you to see if you can find an equivalent verb in English and also an equivalent verb in Spanish. Let's start with get back. Here's a sentence example. I'll call you when I get back to the city. So, is there an English verb that you can use to replace get back? So, yeah, we can replace this with return. And then that can be either volver or regresar in Spanish. So, here's a Spanish version of that sentence. Te llamaré cuando regrese a la ciudad. All right. The next one uses get over here. I want him to get over here this instant. So, yeah, we can replace get over here with come. And in Spanish, this will be venir. So here's the Spanish. Quiero que venga ya mismo. Now for a tricky one. This uses get to. I get to do it every day. So here we're talking about privilege or ability. And really, another way to phrase this would simply be, I can or I am able to. The Spanish equivalent is poder. So here's, I get to do it every day. Lo puedo hacer todos los días. So as you can see, in English, get can be combined with other words to turn into other verbs. Get out means exit or leave, so the Spanish is irse or salir. Get back means return, so the Spanish is volver or regresar. Get over here is come here, so the Spanish is venir. And get to means can or be able to, so the Spanish is poder. There are actually dozens and dozens of more verbs that can be replaced by a get phrase in English. When we say get up, the equivalent verb is arise, which is its own verb in Spanish. And when we say get by, we mean manage, which again is its own verb in Spanish. Same with get better, which means improve, or get down, which means descend, and many, many more. So the point is that the verb get 
in English, doesn't have any single equivalent in Spanish. But when we use the word get in its most basic sense, specifically to mean acquire, the Spanish verb for that is conseguir. Here's another example. I had to get more things before coming. Tuve que conseguir más cosas antes de venir. Now let's start conjugating this verb. The strange thing about this verb is that it's conjugated exactly like seguir, just with con at the beginning. Of course, the verb seguir is a bit irregular because instead of sego, we have sigo. And instead of sege, we have sigue, and so on. But it's exactly the same with conseguir. Here are some examples. I got a new dog. Conseguí un nuevo perro. She gets a new car every three years. Consigue un auto nuevo cada tres años. Note that in this example, the sense is that she actively acquires the car, not that she receives the car. There's a different word for receiving something, such as a gift. Conseguir is more of an active verb. Okay, next example. He got a new house. Consiguió una casa nueva. All right, let's get some quizzing practice with this verb. Remember that it ends just like the verb seguir. My cousin can't get food. Mi primo no puede conseguir comida. Mi primo no puede conseguir comida. This one uses a formal voice. Get something. Consiga algo. Consiga algo. The detective hasn't gotten anything for the case. El detective no ha conseguido nada para el caso. El detective no ha conseguido nada para el caso. I'm not getting a taxi. No consigo un taxi. No consigo un taxi. Did you get what we got? ¿Conseguiste lo que conseguimos? ¿Conseguiste lo que conseguimos? Get six billion. Consigue seis mil millones. Consigue seis mil millones. If you get the game, we can play. Si 
Si consigues el juego, podemos jugar. Si consigues el juego, podemos jugar. He got money working with his friends. Consiguió dinero trabajando con sus amigos. Consiguió dinero trabajando con sus amigos. I got the movie. Conseguí la película. Conseguí la película. I don't think she'll get the car, but she has to get it. No creo que consiga el auto, pero tiene que conseguirlo. No creo que consiga el auto, pero tiene que conseguirlo. To wrap up this episode, let's learn a very simple verb, the verb usar, which means to use. Here's a simple example. I want to use it at home. Quiero usarlo en casa. This verb is completely regular, conjugated exactly like hablar. Here are a few examples. She doesn't use it much. No lo usa mucho. She used it before I used it. Ella lo usó antes de que yo lo usara. I use it as a car. Lo uso como carro. In that last one, notice that instead of como un carro, we just say como carro. When you use something as something else, you typically don't put an article before the thing you're using it as. Try it yourself in this next example. I'll use this as an example. Usaré esto como ejemplo. Usaré esto como ejemplo. Also note that sometimes this will be phrased as usaré esto de ejemplo, where de is replacing como. These are interchangeable, so it's correct whichever way you translate sentences like this. Let's get some quizzing practice with the verb usar. You don't use those things in your role. No usas esas cosas en tu papel. No usas esas cosas en tu papel. I use millions of things every week. Uso millones de cosas todas las semanas.
Uso millones de cosas todas las semanas. I haven't been using this. No he estado usando esto. No he estado usando esto. They use their homework as a game. Usan la tarea como juego. Usan la tarea como juego. He hasn't used it in years. No lo ha usado en años. No lo ha usado en años. My brother used to use that phone. Mi hermano usaba ese teléfono. Mi hermano usaba ese teléfono. You don't have to use it. No tienes que usarlo. No tienes que usarlo. He used money to do his job. Usó dinero para hacer su trabajo. Usó dinero para hacer su trabajo. He doesn't want me to use his things. No quiere que yo use sus cosas. No quiere que yo use sus cosas. We always use forty-nine thousand dollars. Siempre usamos cuarenta y nueve dólares. Siempre usamos cuarenta y nueve dólares. This one uses a formal voice. Use a taxi to go to the airport. Use un taxi para ir al aeropuerto. Use un taxi para ir al aeropuerto. Use the green one. Usa el verde. Usa el verde. In this one, the speaker is feminine. Being honest, you don't have to use it. Siendo honesta, no tienes que usarlo. Siendo 
Siendo honesta, no tienes que usarlo. For more practice with any of this, feel free to dig deeper at lcspodcast.com slash 226. Or if you're ready, let's go on to today's final quiz. I got a new house. Conseguí una nueva casa. Conseguí una nueva casa. The owner doesn't use it. El dueño no lo usa. El dueño no lo usa. The captain has to use eight million pesos. El capitán tiene que usar ocho millones de pesos. El capitán tiene que usar ocho millones de pesos. I use this to get it. Usa esto para conseguirlo. Usa esto para conseguirlo. Get $5,140. Consigue cinco mil ciento cuarenta dólares. Consigue cinco mil ciento cuarenta dólares. I always get good things. Siempre consigo cosas buenas. Siempre consigo cosas buenas. They use the things you got. Usan las cosas que conseguiste. Usan las cosas que conseguiste. We always get money in an honest manner. Siempre conseguimos dinero de una manera honesta. Siempre conseguimos dinero de una manera honesta. She doesn't want me to use her car. No quiere que use su carro. No quiere que use su carro. I've been using this phone for three years. He estado usando este teléfono por tres años. He estado usando este teléfono por tres años.
I'll get enough money, and when I get it, I'm going to use it. Conseguiré suficiente dinero y cuando lo consiga, voy a usarlo. Conseguiré suficiente dinero y cuando lo consiga, voy a usarlo. His coworker was there waiting for the bus. Su compañero de trabajo estaba ahí, esperando el autobús. Su compañero de trabajo estaba ahí, esperando el autobús. I don't think he'll get it. It's 78 million. No creo que lo consiga. Son 78 millones. No creo que lo consiga. Son 78 millones. He hasn't gotten a flight yet. No ha conseguido un vuelo aún. No ha conseguido un vuelo aún. The sergeant talked to one million four hundred and eight soldiers. El sargento habló con un millón cuatrocientos y ocho soldados. El sargento habló con un millón cuatrocientos y ocho soldados. I want him to use what I used to use. Quiero que él use lo que yo usaba. Quiero que él use lo que yo usaba. If you use the 967 billion, you can get it. Si usas los 967 mil millones, puedes conseguirlo. Si usas los 967 mil millones, puedes conseguirlo. Can you get a car like the one he used to use? ¿Puedes conseguir un carro como el que él usaba? ¿Puedes conseguir un carro como el que él usaba? I don't use that, but we use this. No uso eso, pero usamos esto. No uso eso, pero usamos esto. I've used three thousand two hundred and ten dollars.
He usado 3.210 dólares. He usado 3.210 dólares. His friend didn't get what she wanted. Su amiga no consiguió lo que quería. Su amiga no consiguió lo que quería. If you get a lawyer, it'll be better. Si consigues un abogado, será mejor. Si consigues un abogado, será mejor. This one uses a formal voice. Get thousands of dollars for the party, like $252,000. Consiga miles de dólares para la fiesta, como 252 mil dólares. Consiga miles de dólares para la fiesta, como 252 mil dólares. In this one, the one is masculine. He never gets the one that we got. Nunca consigue el que nosotros conseguimos. Nunca consigue el que nosotros conseguimos. We used that for the traffic during our holidays. Usamos eso para el tráfico durante nuestras vacaciones. Usamos eso para el tráfico durante nuestras vacaciones. This one uses a formal voice. Use my house. You can use it for the wedding. Use mi casa. Puede usarla para la boda. Use mi casa. Puede usarla para la boda. He didn't use it. No lo usó. No lo usó. For more practice with all of this, go to lcspodcast.com slash 226. This show is brought to you by LearnCraftSpanish.com. The Spanish voice in this episode was our coach Jimena Lama Rondon. Our music was performed by the Seattle Marimba Quartet, and I'm Timothy, encouraging you to do the hard work of learning Spanish. Acquiring a second language is one of the most fulfilling things you can do, so start your fluency journey today at lcspodcast.com. <laughs>